Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. In this video, we will continue our learning on Embal 1D model. Previously, we have performed simulation with reservoir fluid oil, injection fluid water, fluid model type enter fluid properties, and your type none. All right, so we use only water for our water injection. So let's check again. We are now inside Embal 1D model. So if you check the tool here, we select 1D model, all right? And this is the options. We go to input, reservoir properties or reservoir parameters. This is our setup previously using only water for water injection or water flood. So injection rate is 100 stock tank barrel per day. This is the start of the injection. This is the fluid properties for oil density, oil viscosity, oil formation volume factor, water density, water viscosity, and water formation volume factor. And this is the reservoir parameters for length, width, height, oil water contact, deep angle. So our reservoir is a horizontal reservoir with deep angle of zero degrees, permeability of 100 millidarcies, porosity, connect water saturation, cut of water cut, 99%, and number of cells, 100. This is our relative permeability data. So we use Cori functions. Okay, so we click done and we perform run simulation. Calculate very fast. We obtain the results here for pore volume injected, recovery factor, water injected, oil produced and water produced, both for break to time and actual. Okay, so using water injection or water flood, we can achieve 62 recovery factor, 62%. All right, this is our case in previous video. And in this video, we will perform enhanced oil recovery using surfactant and polymer. Okay, and actually we can also check the result. Plot, yeah, this is our plot from previous video for recovery factor, water saturation, and also the water cut. And let's perform enhanced oil recovery. So we press done. We go to options and tool options, reservoir fluid oil, injection fluid water, fluid model type, enter fluid properties, enhanced oil recovery type, we open the drop down. We select surfactant polymer. Okay, with reference date as per default. You can also type in your user information here and also your comments here. Done. We go back to input, reservoir parameters. Okay, so for the injection rate, will be the same, fluids the same. Reservoir properties also the same, but we need to provide additional data for grain density. So our grain density is 1.2 gram per centimeter cube. Okay. And then relative permeability data the same for residual saturation and point and exponent. And we have two new sections here. EOR input and you are schedule okay we go to your input okay we have table for polymer and also for the surfactant okay i will copy my data my prepared data and paste the data here all right for polymer concentration in ppm and apparent viscosity in centipoise 10000 ppm 5 centipoise 30,000 ppm, 50 centipoise, and 50,000 ppm, 100 centipoise. All right, this is the table for our polymer. 
and for rock adsorption 0.001 oil partition coefficient also 0.001 all right and now we need to provide data also for the surfactant 1000 ppm surfactant concentration the surface tension will be 0.1 dyne per centimeter 3000 ppm 0.001 dyne per centimeter and 50000 ppm 0.001 okay so as you increase the surfactant concentration the surface tension will be lower and then for rock adsorption the same 0.001 oil partition coefficient 0 0.001 all right we can validate okay we are validated lastly we will provide your schedule okay the table is for volume injected and polymer concentration in ppm so we start with 0 0.2 per volume injected with 0 ppm and 100% for volume injected with 10,000 ppm. And also for the surfactant, 0 0.2 per volume injected with surfactant coefficient of 50,000 ppm and 100% per volume injected with no surfactant at all. And then we can validate. All right, we are validated. So we can click done. Now we can go to calculations run simulation all right now we just need to click calculate right you can see the progress here water saturation in vertical axis and reservoir length in horizontal axis all right, so far so good. This is our data, our setup, injection rate, deep angle, length, width, and so on and so forth. And this is our main results. So now we can achieve recovery factor of 83%. All right, it is significantly higher compared to the results from water injection, where we can only achieve 62% of recovery factor all right and then this is the cumulative water injected cumulative oil produced and cumulative water produced this is the results at breakthrough time and this is the water saturation plotted against the reservoir length from zero to 1000 all right, it's very easy, but it is very interesting and important. And we can click finish and go back to calculations and go to result. All right, this is the results table. Time per volume injected, frontal speed, frontal advance, average oil rate, water cut, Cumulative oil produced, cumulative water produced, cumulative water injected, recovery factor, and water saturation. You can obtain the report by clicking this one, report, report to printer, file, clipboard, or display. And then this is the format. All right, you can do this. And you can also select the variable selection columns to display. In this case, we show all the parameters for volume injected and so on and so forth. Click done. Now we go to the plot. All right. This is very interesting. So we have three curves, recovery factor, water saturation, and water cut. Okay, we can click this one first, remove all. All right, we plot the per volume injected. All right, and then frontal speed. Okay, after breakthrough, the frontal speed will be zero. 
you can maximize in this section. All right, after breakthrough, the frontal speed will be dropped down to zero. Okay, we can remove the selected. Okay, and frontal advance. At breakthrough, the injected fluid has reached this one, 1,000 feet. All right. At breakthrough time, the injected fluid has reached 1,000 feet. And then this is important, average oil rate. Steady oil rate first before breakthrough. And then the oil rate drops. Increase again. Stabilize, decline again, and after that, increase again, right? Because we have enhanced oil recovery, so we can increase the oil flow rate due to the surfactant and the polymer. And after that, it drops again significantly. Remove all, water cut, right? We can plot with average oil rate. So before water breakthrough, the water cut is zero. After that, it increases significantly and then stabilize, increase again, drops due to enhanced oil recovery, stabilize, and then after that, increases significantly again. All right, and then remove all cumulative oil production. Cumulative water production, cumulative water injected, remove all recovery factor, right? We can achieve 83% of recovery factor and, of course, water saturation. Again, water cut. It's very interesting. So using enhanced oil recovery, we can stabilize the water cut in this period. And then it increases again and it drops, right? This is due to the action of the enhanced oil recovery. So we can lower down the water cut and that's important. But lastly, it increases again. All right, this is the 1D model using MBAL software for enhanced oil recovery using surfactant and polymer. That's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next MBAL videos. Thank you.